man i was deep in that pool that's that's gonna be sally right there ah uh, look at the color on it it's good It is time for more fun camping and fishing on the river and today's video is sponsored by our friends at Mystery Tackle Box. I've been partnered with MTB for years and they are a fantastic partner but they also make a fantastic gift. If you've got someone in your family, you've got a friend that's getting into fishing or they're experienced at fishing already, a Mystery Tackle Box is a perfect gift to get them. They make it easy to try new baits, discover new techniques, and catch more fish while you're at it. And one of the things I love is that you can fish different types of boxes. You can pick out ones for bass, and you can pick out ones for trout or panfish, stuff like what we're doing today. And you're just not gonna find a better time than right now to sign up for a mystery tackle box or give it as a gift. They are 20% off now through Cyber Monday. That's the biggest sale they're gonna do all year. So if you're doing some holiday shopping and you just don't know what to get somebody that's into the outdoors, get them a Mystery Tackle Box. Use my link down in the description. It'll take you right to Mystery Tackle Box's page where you can shop all their different boxes and get set up for the holidays. Thank you, Santa Carl, for the discounts and thank you, Mystery Tackle Box, for partnering on this channel for so many years. Now let's get to the river and do some trout fishing. It is time to do a catch and cook. We're up here on the river, it is cold. We've got trout, we're gonna have a campfire, all the goods. So we're gonna about a mile and a half walk in this morning. The best part about it, LFD, my dad, is coming with me. Uh, my buddy Lance, he's very good at trout fishing. So we're gonna get some on the line. We can only keep three uh, and we're gonna bring them back and we're gonna show you how to clean them and cook them. So let's get to the river. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. It'll be a pretty sunrise. Probably hear some wood ducks. Good times in the great outdoors. Start off with a lure. Fish on, baby. Hey, hey. Natural killer. Oh, another one just jumped right there. Fish on, baby. Everybody's hooked up already. This is a tiny one right here. All right, we got LFD. LFD coming in to get some trout fishing today. Love to see that. See a little squirt. You're not you go not gonna make the creel. I think I'm gonna make myself a little stringer and get my net just in case things get crazy. I forgot my stringer. Dad gun. I got a steel stringer that I love to use. Forgot it, but we're just gonna make our own here. And I'll just put that inside of here. I can take that out later. Clip that on to my my waist. Clip my net on. Hooked up. Oh, we come off. Little guy. Oh, there we go. There we go. A little bit more beef on that steak. Come on, baby. Come on now. What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we stringer worthy? He's a decent little eater. 
say it's a decent little eater. Oh, oh, I caught him as soon as he came off. Did you guys see the angling skills? That is how we do it. Oh man, it's like you were meant to go on a stringer. And I don't have the treble hooks to deal with. That was just amazing. If you ain't smashing the like button for netting them straight out. You just go home right now. There we go. Oh gosh, I just had one right in front of me. Right in front of me. Oh goodness. Oh, come on. Can't jerk it. You just gotta keep reeling. You'll never get them on that rod if you set the hook. Here's one. So I've got a noodle, so. possible keeper pretty small probably let him go he can get off now yeah take it off it's a pretty one though Ooh. try to get another one okay Got one on the line. This might be a stringer. Might be a stringer trout right here. Oof. Little dude. Hard fighter. Hard fighter. They're all hard fighters for sure. Back to the deeps. Okay, I have one bite. They pop it pretty good. Yeah, they do. Just, oh there's God. another one I just had right in the middle. There, there he is. Up there. He's gyrating. Okay, <laughs> just spinning. Those little ones just spin. Wow, really? <laughs> that's, that's that's why like you need this little tiny rod. They just shake the hook off. There you go. There you go, Dad. Oh, look at that jumper, baby. First trout. First Oklahoma trout. That's awesome. It's actually pretty good. Decent eater captured congratulations sir thank you what a pretty scene yeah I know. you know look behind you fog coming up. pretty awesome oh hitting the rocks and then the danger zone there he is oh that's a good one i mean oh it, yeah i can just tell by the head shakes Man, I was deep in that pool. That's, that's going to be Sally right there. Ah, uh, look at the color on it. It's good. That's a good one. Just got to take her easy. Don't you do it. Don't you be doing that gyrating business now. Get my net. Yes. That's a pretty one there. That one's going to eat. Oh, no, don't do that. Well, I've unhooked the fish, but I've... Hooked my net about three ways to Sunday. Get our buddy on our stringer. Hooked up, right, right in front of our feet. Come off, yeah. They're just like snakes. Yeah, they really. You know, they twist and turn, gyrate, do all sort of stuff. I've got, I've had a couple like in that deep pool. Got bumps. There he is, deep in the pool. 
That's gonna be Sally. That's Sally, she's staying down. This is gonna be my third stringer. Stringer fish, oh yeah, she's a big one. She pulled a little drag there. They do fight, don't they? Pretty decent one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my goodness, jump to come off. Big jump. Snagged up. I'll get you a lure here if you want. Just that right there if you want. That's the killer. All right, we're going deep in the pool again. This is the spot. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm on. What were you saying, Dad? You can drink coffee in the mornings, it does things to you? It does things for your soul and your bowels. This might be this might be the one. This might be the one I connect with. Looks decent. Yeah. Wasn't quite on the menu list. The menu would have said, oh my gosh, right away again in the pool. Uh, the menu would have said, small trout filet, $6.99. Come on, big, big in, come on. Oh gosh, smacked it. He's going to get off. He's too close. He's fighting too hard. Maybe not. Just play him right. Going upstream. About the same. About the same as the last one. Just beautiful. Just a beautiful scene with the LFD. Potential eater. It's kind of skinny. Let's see here. We want to eat you. See it. Probably uh, if I keep another one that size, I'll put it on the stringer. But seem to be. Very similar in size. Every once in a while you get a get a tasty one. There we go. Big. Alright, Dad, you, you need to come right here. Pretty small, let's go. Little guy. That's a pretty one. Very pretty colors. Beautiful little trout. Oh no, did I just drop my flyers? I heard a bloop. No, I didn't. Heard something drop. Yep, see you bud. Okay, so I got two on the stringer so far. I'm gonna switch things up and do something I haven't done here before. This is more of a Colorado technique that I've used, but it's a, it's basically a bubble rig. So I've got um, a little spinning fly right here, a little pistol peat fly. Got a bubble rig. I'm gonna adjust that, just depending on the current and stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna slowly reel it and wait for that bobber to go down. I wanna try this technique because I can cast it out there on conventional. I like fishing conventional. Uh, the bite has definitely slowed down. I've already caught like a dozen, but Lance is hooked up right now, so it ain't over. Yeah, we 
we go, baby. Just a Pete. Probably going to be my last stringer fish. Not a giant. Not a giant, but he will do. All right, we got our three. Is it a smallmouth? It's a spotted bass? That might be some sort of like river rock bass or something, some other species. Pretty though. Look at that, LFD catching a bass out here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Stick him on my net. Not sure. I don't know. He might. He could be a spot, but he could also be like a, you know, like a rock bass or something. He's got those red eyes. Pretty cool catch. Not gonna make the stringer though. Nope. See you, little guy. All right, folks, the bounty has been collected this morning. We have the trout. Uh, we got them hanging in the tree right here. Uh, the whole, all the families are awake, getting up and rolling. We got our trout. And if you've never cleaned a trout before, I'm gonna show you how to do it, but it is the easiest fish out of any fish I've ever caught to clean. There is almost nothing better than a camp fire traps the atmosphere the sound of the river the fire crackling put a little lemon a little butter we're gonna do it upright I'm gonna get my bacon nice and crispy then I'm gonna take you guys down the river and show you how to clean the trap locally grown at the Rackley Roost we got them eggs I know exactly which chicken laid these eggs this is This is Peggy. This is Peggy right here, for sure. This is Puff, the old blue Easter egger, and the lighter colored brown ones. That's Old Penny, my favorite chicken. All right, so if you've never cleaned the trout before, it is probably the easiest fish. They're leaving the rib cage in, so that's part of the reason why. But um, I'm just gonna take my little knife here. You don't even have to have a fillet knife. Just take your pocket knife or whatever outdoor knife you got on you, and you're gonna go up from the, the ennis, and you're gonna go up to the gills, basically. You know, just about half an inch deep or so. And then you're gonna go right behind the head here. This is where your, most of your meat is at, it's the thickest part of the fish. You just wanna cut down until you fill that spine with your knife. And then you're gonna pull down on the head. You're gonna break that spine. And you're just gonna pull out and all the guts and everything just comes out with with the head. You just throw that to the side. And the last step here is you'll just take your thumb, press down into the spine, just right inside here, and you'll feel those little ridges of the vertebrae. And you just push out. And that gets a lot of the blood, some of the gamey taste out of there, and then you just give it a rinse. If you're next to the river like this it makes it extremely easy. Just give it a rinse. And that's the easiest way to do it. So you can throw this in some tin foil, put a lemon, put some pepper, stuff like that in there. It's delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in a little vacuum seal bag. Just to 
storm. So I'll do one more for you guys. All right, so go from the, the butt. Search your knife, go straight up to those gills. Right behind the head here. Get your knife. Go down that spine. Pull down. Crack the rest of that spine. And pull out. Everything's there. Very, very easy. That's a male right there. See, he's got his. Uh, little trout makers right there. Just go up as far back as you can inside of that, that rib cavity. Press your thumb down. Push forward. All that red stuff will come out. Give it a swish. That's ready for a coal fire. It's a tin pole. So what you're going to need, simple ingredients, tin foil, lemons for spice, probably the best thing you can put in your truck or camper, Cosmo SPG, that stands for salt, pepper, and garlic mixture. Uh, if you guys live in Texas, you can actually pick this up at Bucky's. But um, anyway, Cosmo's a friend that makes this stuff. We keep a bunch of it here in the camper and at the house because it's just good on everything we use it a lot so let's grab our fish and most importantly our butter as well and that's the last that's the last thing there's a lot of different ways you can cook a trout uh skillet trout's excellent but when we're at camp i like to do them on the fire and i double wrap double wrap mine in the foil so you know these trout are not humongous they'll probably fit in the fold here of the Reynolds. Just fold that in half. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, spice and butter on the inside of the of the fish right here. So inside of that cavity. And I like to just slice that butter thinly. So it'll melt quite easily. Alright so we got butter inside of the cavity and then I'm gonna do the lemons the same way, kind of thinly slice these. Okay, not sure what happened there on the audio. This probably sounds a little different. Hey, Emmy. I like to do about three or four little butter slices. And we'll stick them just right inside the cavity of the fish. Put our little lemon wedges in there. And then, uh, Put our little butters around the body of the fish so they don't stick to the tin foil. That is just part of the program. Then we take our SPG and we're going to put it right in the cavity. Put a little bit on the outside. It's got those big chunks of garlic in there. Makes it all nice. And we're just going to fold it like it's a burrito. A little bigger, but still, still is going to fit in there. Okay, now we've got our three trout. We're going to stick them in the fire, caveman style. Follow me to the fire, my dear OSG on the cameras. LFD yes. did not contribute to today's krill. I, I want to see an improvement tomorrow. Okay. Okay, I will. <laughs> All right, so we've got our fire that is burned down to basically red coals, and uh, we just need to get ourselves a little stick. Now, I think Emmy took my my poker stick and made a broom out of it. Well, we've got some so, nice claws over here. Got some claws that'll work. Kind of scrape it up a little bit. I prefer a stick, you know. But um, these red coals, we're just gonna space out. We're gonna take them away from the center of the fire. And we're going to lay our trout just right on top of those. Just like this. And that is going to be quite toasty. 
and then we're just gonna kind of put the coals in and around this fish. So it's got the tin foil to protect it. So I'll leave them on there until I hear them sizzling. Hear that butter start sizzling in that tin foil. Flip them over, and it'll, it'll probably take about 10 minutes. And the whole goal is to make them flaky. So you want to get them to where you can just kind of take your fork and that meat just flakes right off the rib cage. And I'll show you how to how to devour them. And they are delicious. Getting that sizzle. That's on the far one there. I ended up putting the coals on the top, so we might be cooked all the way around. When you get that, when you get that sizzle going. That's usually a good sign. A little bubble of the butter. The bubble, the butter's, uh, you know, one, number one. It's delicious. Uh, acts as a uh, a nonstick inside of there, and then also it's an indicator. I think I'm just gonna give them a full full flipperuski. Getting that sizzle going. This guy on the end is probably about done. All right, add some freshies. It's time to give her a check. Get on here about 10 minutes. Put those coals on top, so hopefully we got some cookage that has happened throughout. I'm gonna call her good. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this over to our uh, our little station. I'm gonna lay it out proper. We're gonna give a good look at this. Steamy. Look at that butter. Oh yeah, falling off when that skin starts falling off like that. That's when you know these others are gonna be just right as well. I'm going to let that one cool down before we get a test bite. We'll pull the other ones off. Shake them off a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Alright. Again, caveman style. Ten minutes approximate. And if you got a fork, it's a good way to eat it. If you got a knife, you can also just use that. Skin's good to eat. It's good, uh, it's good trace elements, vitamins, nutrients. What you're looking for is fish falling off the bone and some flakiness. And that trout looks perfectly done. So let's just get a bite here. Fantastic. It's buttery. Trout has a very, um, very soft texture to it. It's not as um, it's not as hard as a lot of other fish. And it is delicious. I got a little bit of that lemon in there. Some of that garlic from the SPG. That's awesome. So the way you eat it, you just take your fork and it should be done in a way where you can just scrape like this against that rib cage, that backbone and it just flakes off. You're gonna get some tiny bones. Most of them will just kind of melt away. You can chew through them, honestly. They don't do any anything in your system. They'll probably just give you extra vitamin D. Really good. So you go down one side, clean it, then you can pull the spine right out. I'll show you that in here in just a second. And then continue on your trout eating journey. Enjoy with a cold Shiner Bach if you're in Texas and you got yourself a delicious outdoor river meal. Mm. OSG, would you work. like to bite a trout? I would love to bite a trout. Fresh. I mean, I've got a whole trout for you, but we'll just get a bite real quick. I am a trout walk you, away from baby. You're trying to what? Walk away from baby. Walk away from baby. Everybody be quiet right now. Quietly smash the like button to get the baby to go to sleep. There's a little, ooh, look at you, lucky. Got a little piece of lemon in there and garlic. It's toasty. Mmm. Creamy. Mmm, perfect, butter. like butter to lemon ratio. Thank you very much. Get your bite of that. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Can you catch three more of those tomorrow? Skillet tater. Oh, yeah, I can. Get, well, do I get to go fishing? Get three for the road. Yes, ma'am, if you want to. I kind of want to see where y'all are going fishing. Oh, we have a secret hole. We have to blindfold you. But I'll take you down to the community hole. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm wanting, to, I'm wanting to show them how this, uh, you know how this works. You've done this. Mm -hmm. How the spine just kind of comes out. I think that's like my favorite part, lift it back it, up. It's satisfying, isn't it? It is. We've done this in Colorado before. Another bite, maybe. It's kind of hot. I see a bone. I see a bone, right A little there. tiny bone. You can just chew that one up. You get like a 12 to 14 inch trout, the bones will just kind of dissolve. Mm -hmm. And you can take your fork or your knife and pull right on that rib cage as well and the meat will just pull right off. That's different than a lot of other fish. It's difficult to do that. Okay. Can I do it? You want to do it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Show the folks at home. When you cook the trout properly it should just pull out. Just got to get it started. Oh, oh, oh. Working. It's getting a little stuck. I'm, I'm helping the process stuck. right now. Okay, it should it should go now. There it goes. Oh, it's so satisfying. There we go. Yee! There's your skeletor. Show the folks at home. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So now you've got still a boneless. got a little bit of meat in there, but a little bit. Not much. So now the rest of it is just boneless. Then you just do the same method. Just kind of scrape with the side of your fork. If you got a knife, just use the spine of your knife. I like the bottom because there's no more bones. I think your trout was a uh, good luck charm because I think baby Ben is finally asleep. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Well, his, his, his middle name is River. Mm -hmm. So. Take him down to the river. Christen him right here yeah. in the Blue River. Got the river vibes going. All right, I've got you your own trout. Because <laughs> you so, want me to stop picking off of you? No, <laughs> I'm just saying. You got your own so you can get your fill. And uh, get your pork, get your plate. Get you fed up, girl. I'll feed you up and then try out. You just didn't get any ash in it? Nope. You've been served. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you Have a nice day. Late lunch. That'll be $4.99. Okay, we got mom here who's a big fan of the trout. I love trout. It's my favorite fish, and Justin did a great job cooking this. You like the caveman style? I do. I cooked them right on the coals, and oh, they were just so good. I'm glad, Mom, I'm glad. I knew you would like one. And you, you know, seasoned it perfectly, a little salt, pepper, and then you sliced lemon in there. Yes, ma'am. You know I use that Cosmo, SPG. Um, well, I could probably eat two Okay, well, good news is we're going fishing for more. I will say, if you've never been trout fishing, uh, it is it is a pretty fun thing to do. And a lot of states, southern states, will stock these fish, and they do not live past the summer. So they're there for you as a resource to catch, have fun, and then eat. Eat them. They're a great food source. And uh, you know, we happen to be up here in Oklahoma. I've caught them in places in Texas as well. You can just get on the uh, the parks and recs uh, websites and they'll usually give you stocking dates so you can, you know when the fish are being stocked and whatnot so hope you guys enjoyed today's catch and cook and if you have never tried trout pretty daggum good give it a shot uh, go ahead and smash that like button for outdoor greatness catching trout in the woods on the river and godspeed and god bless you in the great outdoors y'all we'll see you on the next one